Is that why he's here? Is he's probably he's taking a picture, yeah. He's probably heading home. Pretty cool. Beautiful trailers. Oh, oh, did it. Oh, oh, no. Before we leave Louisville, we're going to go have him grab a little brunch. So this is called the Galt House. That is pretty cool. <laughs> she drives up, drive up, she's like, what is this? <laughs> Our kind of thing. Pretty cool. That is a very large track of barges right there. I don't know how they keep them from uh, coming out from under each other. I don't know. Maybe they haven't got to have them secured somehow, but I've never seen one this long. The last one had just one boat, but uh, we'll see where this thing ends. Looks like those motors are pushing out some uh, RPMs right there. Some uh, big power. Cool though, I've never seen that. I don't know what that is. Let me know in the comments. It's probably some kind of uh, rain or something that's getting moved up the coast. This is the Ohio River right here. Indiana's right there across the way. T-Dub's getting food, maybe get some grub in her tub, and then uh, head over to my mom. Look at that sun up there. Isn't that cute? Thanks for the food. Kind of random, but this place does not um, serve food here. I don't know why. Sundays. Or, or is it just Sundays? So they do serve food other days? Okay. We got a little nice chicken sandwich. In a, what from downstairs, which was kind of dark, you said? No it windows? Like a nightclub. <laughs> like a nightclub. But there was people down there. Well, thanks for getting food, Dubs. Let's eat and let's get over to Lexington, Kentucky. So we're here for a uh, big truck show. Oh, you are? Yeah, uh, that's cool. He's gonna get a nice- Oh, is that why he's here? Is he's probably he's taking a picture, yeah. He's probably heading home. Pretty cool. Beautiful trailers. <laughs> I know, right? Nice. That is a super cool old barber shop. Anybody know any history on this? I asked a lady over there, but she did not know. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, let's get out of here and get back home. Louisville really has a lot of like history and like it feels older, but this is where t has got the food. Really cool little downstairs bar, little dark. Oh, pretty cool, huh? I like it. So that is where we just were. Uh, and we ate last year right here at... Jeff Ruby's. Jeff Ruby's. And these crazy guys that sell mud flaps. Didn't even realize that's how close we were to the water that night. We, But where we were earlier is right over there. Pretty cool. All right, Louisville's been great. And then Guy Fieri shows up. Emilio Estevez shows up. The Blues Brothers show up. The bill was like... A $3,000. $3,000 last year or something like that? Maybe it was 2000 I don't know. I think it was like 3000 but the guys that took us there were like, we got you guys. They're the guys ones that told awesome. us about it. They're like, yeah. hey, you want to go to dinner? With we, we were just... And they didn't even... No, we had no reservation. So just FYI, if you want to go to Jeff Ruby's, you have got to make a yeah, reservation. Yeah, it's a pretty busy place. But the guys that we met while we were out here, they... Not mud flap the... One no, they make, they, they make mud flaps. They make mud flaps. Like actual mud flaps. Yeah. Um, They've been coming forever, but they are, one's based in Mexico, one's based somewhere around here, I think. Yeah. Anyways, they were, Ohio, like, I think. they were like, hey, you want to come with us to dinner? Because we just met them. Yeah, like, we just met them at, um, at that bowling alley. No, uh, yeah, that yeah, bar like that bowling, has the bowling so, alley. Uh, social, restaurant. Uh, social soccer. That social one that's club. in that main corridor. Anyways, yeah. they're like, yeah, come with us. We're like, all right. All right, yeah. <laughs> they know the owner. Yeah. And so they just called and we walked right in okay, and it was yeah. insane. We bought, it was so much fun. Uh, brought Duran too. Duran, hope you're doing good, man. We all like just shoved into a four person table. No, it was a six person table and there were like eight of us. It was fun though. Great, great food, great times. Kind of has an old like Scarface vibe to it. Like you did say that, <laughs> and and there's a band on top of the bar. Yeah, like you walk like, in yeah, and there's jokes too. Just yeah, and, and call people it, out in the crowd. It was really fun. Really cool place. Let us know if you know what Jeff Ruby's is. But yeah, that's we didn't realize that's how close we were to the river. <laughs> great stuff. We're learning Louisville every time. Look at that condo right there. That looks pretty dang cool. Really cool. Appreciate you. Probably won't see you again until next year. Unless freight gets better, maybe I'll get a load up here. That That'd be would cool. be awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we could actually park in the truck area. Yeah, we're heading to, there's Louisville Slugger. Uh, we're heading over to um, 
Lexington now, which is about 80 miles away. What is that, Carrie Underwood song? I took a little bit slugger to both headlights. <laughs> you do sing that song. Uh, All right, we're out here. You say hold your breath? Hold your breath, the whole tunnel. All right, ready? All right. Luckily, it's not a very long tunnel. No, no, no. Try to do that with the Knoxville one. Did you one. do that when you were a kid? Yeah, we, we used to do still that when do we it. Kid, yeah. We used to hit each other. We saw Volkswagens, all kinds of stuff. Oh, that we fight about. We saw out of out punch of, buggy. Punch buggy. No, it's a slug bug. Punch buggy. Slug bug. Punch buggy. Slug bug. <laughs> California people said slug bug, and Arizona, yeah, Arizona Coast, people. East Coast says uh, slug bug. No punch uh, buggy. buggy. No punch bags. No punch bags. Did you ever see when there's like an out-of-state license plate you would hit each other? No. Yeah, we played that game too. Yeah. But in California, I have a lot of people that were visiting other places. You probably just need to see My favorite road, South my Carolina. favorite road, my favorite road trip game was uh, Names of Association. What? You never, never, played, we never played that one. Oh, we did. So like, you start with like a celebrity's name. Like, for example, I would say Katy Perry. You would have to come up with a celebrity that has a first name that starts with P, and then the last name doesn't matter. And then I would have to go off the last name. Paul Rudd. Okay. Um, R. Um, Randy Travis. Travis Tritt. Let's do Tracy this. Chapman. Oh. Uh, Chris Brown. Um, Bobby Brown. Oh, you can wear the devil bees. Bruno Mars. Mm, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, Mandy Moore. <laughs> oh, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I love him. I love him in that movie Fear. I would never look at Mark Wahlberg the same after Wait, I have Fear. never, funny story, I've never seen that movie until she was watching it, one night. She's like, it came out on weird. Netflix. <laughs> and like, I'm watching it. I'm like, well, we're Mark And Justin comes up and he goes, what are you watching? Is that Fear? I said, yeah. He goes, Mark Wahlberg's psycho. in this movie. I was like, it's such a good movie. What happened? Can't make movies like that no more. Oh, Did no. he survive? I don't think you made it. I don't know. Who knows? All right, let's get to Lexington. Look at how pretty this countryside is. Like, I know it's like Kentucky Derby horse country area, but it's so pretty. There's all these long fences, big old fields. Just a gorgeous area. We're still about 20 miles from my, my mom. But yeah, it's such a pretty place. So I was asking T-Dubs to look up where the Kentucky Derby was held. Church and she over. said, uh, we were right next to it. Yeah, like, <laughs> we were mats. I was like, oh. It's like it's a church on down. Okay. It's like right down the street. There's a bunch of horses over there to the left. There was like a little small racetrack back there. But uh, this old tee up. Maybe, look at the house. So maybe one day we should go down there and uh, see the derby. You can wear a big old hat. And she and said, I said, get and us drink, something. And drink a mint julep. And he goes, what's that? <laughs> and I'm like, it's like the drink that people get when they're at the Kentucky Derby. It's a uh, mint julep. And he's like, oh. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. <laughs> you wear a hat, you drink a mint julep. I've heard of a it's mint a mojito, but not a mint julep. It's called a mint julep. I don't know. You know what? I actually don't know what's in it. We are also like. only about 50 miles from the Ark. It's kind of up towards Cincinnati. I stopped there once myself. It was awesome. It's a huge exhibit of like a life-sized uh, Ark that was used back in the days of Noah when the world flooded. So, pretty cool. Yeah, I would love to go do that. We were talking about doing it, if, uh, but it's closed today, so. Next year at Matt's, maybe if it's open. Yeah, we'll go early because we'll I really want to see that. We'll check like, it out. I was watching a YouTube video on it and kind of got a little like choked up, excited. Like, I really want to see that. Cool. Yeah, this is horse country out here. Guys, T Dibs just scared the heck out of me. Sorry. She's like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, what? What happened? So I pulled over because she says she has to get a picture. And so she's almost 100% sure, but, uh, Show she watches. Yes, I get, I that's get. it. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's uh... called the Kentucky Castle. Oh my so, goodness. like, okay, I watched this stupid, stupid show on uh, Bravo called Vanderpump Rules, and Jackson and Brittany got married at that castle. That barn thing looks kind of crazy, dude. No, that is that is such a cool place. Uh, the rooms are so nice. Oh, like you can stay there. Yes. Well, that's the castle, guys. If you guys ever Kentucky been there. Castle. Kentucky Castle. I thought we had a blowout tire or someone just drove by in a Lamborghini. I don't know. Just Katie went, what? Went from black fences to white fences. Can you guys tell me why they're so close together? Is that like a property line Center. thing? I think it's just Is for like people like, to walk and then for the horses. Why do they have those little corridors where it's like right next to each other? I don't get it. So let me know in the comments. Beautiful up here, though. 
Look at those red wheels, baby. Ooh. Oh, that Lexus. And that truck in front of us is not factory. He's got something fun under the hood. That thing is beefy. And the whole back axle is painted like a nice powder coat red. So I wouldn't mess with that truck. Looks stock. Just has like some regular Chevy wheels on it. But that thing I guarantee you can fly. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. This guy's playing basketball on the, on the corner. There you go. Dribbling. That's what I did. I was so bad at basketball, I got cut from my seventh grade team because uh, I just never really practiced or played it and I couldn't dribble. Uh, so I dribbled a ball to basketball to school and back every day for the whole year. And then I got on well, my eighth grade team and I moved up to North and we won the whole state for eighth grade, which is pretty cool. And then I went and played uh, JV as a freshman and then varsity for three years. Loved basketball, but I was better at football. <laughs> but that was my favorite sport. There's another shot of those red wheels. They don't really match. The color of the car is more of a ruby. Uh, oh, they're changing the tire for? Are they changing the tire? Where is the tire? Are they gonna tow it? I don't know. <laughs> well, a decent piece for the Jeep. I don't see a tire in sight. But yeah, T-Dub said she's already planning on giving those red wheels for Christmas, so I'm very <laughs> excited about it. So it's gonna be awesome. What an absolutely beautiful day. We made it. To get old. What? Well, that was awesome seeing my mom, guys, and my aunt, my uncle. All right, let's get Tito's back home. To my babies. My goodness, this is a great Gatsby house. We've got some bluegrass going on, bluegrass country. Um, what is the two? So my theory is the two fences is if one of them breaks a little bit, the horses aren't going to get out. No. What's your theory? I don't know. Like. Hmm. Double fences, they got fences around the trees too, so they don't eat the trees, maybe? Or the circle fences around trees? Because they will have like circle, just random circles in the middle of the field. <laughs> or they have circle fences around trees. Don't make no sense. And then a double, double stacked fences. That's so if one breaks in the area, then they don't get out. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Look at this cool little bridge. Beautiful out though. Great, like open pastures. But it seems like a lot of extra wood for the double fences. I don't know why. Look at that beautiful sunset. So we had to come check out the current Buckies. biggest Buckies in America, in the world. Uh, but I guess they're building a new one. Goodyear, Arizona, which is on the western side of Phoenix, Arizona, uh, out towards the east or towards the west, sorry, southwest of Phoenix, but uh, this one currently holds that uh, stature. The biggest Bucky's in uh, America. Can't My goodness. Just a humongous. I'll just do a little potty break. Don't really need other. Maybe some beaver nuggets. I don't know. The smells are amazing. And it's Easter. Oh yeah. This place is huge. Pretty good for T-Dubs, because that Bucky's is right outside of where my mom lives, so she went pretty far. We're almost down uh, the 40, going uh, south of Knoxville. Yeah, I, like, you saw, uh-oh, he just dropped all the change. You saw a meme? Yeah, like a, like a, just like a cartoon thing, mm -hmm. and it was this dude in the desert <laughs> crawling to a water bottle he saw, and he grabs it, and he looks at it, and goes, and it puts it back down and crawls back. <laughs> I can't stand this, honey. It's, it has like salt in it. I know, that's hot. Ugh, Aquafina. Yeah. Even though it doesn't taste much better, it still doesn't have much of salt taste. All right, let's get back about 170 miles and we're home. Coming over that giant river. Oh, it is see it. <laughs> 59 degrees. You cannot see it, but the huge river's up behind. I don't even know what river that is. That's the same one that we white water rafted on, probably. Almost out of Tennessee into North Carolina and uh, Lone Star, Texas Ranger. And then we get notifications on our phones when whenever our cameras get some or when the door's unlocked. I just said the door's unlocked. So hopefully they get cozy and sleep there at the uh, lake house and break up their trip. They got all their babies and can refresh and regroup. Hopefully they can have a couple of fun days there. Maybe go uh, at the beach and play in the water. There's a beach right around the corner from our lake house uh, at the campground. So wish them a good time and we'll check on them tomorrow. Hopefully they get some sleep. But we need to get T-Dubs home. And I need to get home so we can get some sleep. And see our babies. See our babies. And they got school tomorrow. And they got only a four-day week. These kids got it made. And they're also out April 8th. Yeah, they're out. They don't have Friday school, so well, heck yeah. Let's get home, and then I'll get looking for loads again tomorrow and get back to work.
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this is some of the most wind That's I've scary. ever felt in a car. Me too. Like, it just pushed in like the door panel on the on my driver's side. It like, is windy Like, up it here. literally made, like, my heart skip a beat. It is extremely windy. Yeah. Ooh, Do you hear that? It's pushing the whole escalator around. Pushing the old 6,000 pound vehicle. <laughs> Imagine what it's doing Man, those trucks. I know if you had an empty truck through here, my goodness, careful. So, it must be a little, a little uh, weather change coming on. What's the temp gonna be tomorrow? I wonder. That's a good question. Maybe. It's gonna be warm that that, that air is coming through because it's 60 degrees out there right now. Whew. It's it's today, um, 67, and then Monday is 66, so it's not like it's not changing, it's just maybe something up here. I don't know, either way, we're going. Cruising slow, going wind. about 65. Yeah, I, I can't imagine if I was in my truck, I'd be like, man. 26, um, 26 miles per hour wind gusts. That's not that bad. But it's still, you can feel it. I think right here, it's. Yeah, those trees are flying over there. Woo! All right, well, just want to bring that little uh, update of weather to you because it came out of nowhere. I was like, what is going on? Why is the truck moving? Or the Escalade? And uh, definitely wind. <laughs> Home sweet home. It is so good to be back down this road. Oh, so good. Ah, let's get some rest. It's 12 o'clock. We made it. No problems. Traffic was it was real light. I mean, uh -huh. it is Sunday night, but say a little prayer for Kai Kai. Yeah, yeah. Kai's got a cough now too. Yeah, Kai's got a sickness. Oh, good. But thank you, Gigi, for watching the babies. Yes. Oh, we'll cut this video here, guys. It's a short one, just kind of us. It's great to see my mom today. If you guys know the backstory of my mom, she, um, she used to live close to us. She's got her own little. Own little issues here and there, so it, it's hard to, to um, hang out with her sometimes. Or not hang out with her, just hard to schedule it. Yeah. So we let her have her own space. But uh, when I did get to see her, it was great to share some memories today, get a picture with her, and uh, mm -hmm. give her some hugs. So and my aunt Vicky. So. And your uncle Grant. And my uncle Grant had a great lunch <laughs> with them. They showed us their new uh, and your cousin. Their cousin, everybody. Yeah. Let's get home. That's nice. But on that note, guys, God bless you, and we will see you on the next one. What a great mess 2024.